Hello everyone. I was by the beach the other day and found this rock there and I thought this could be really cool with a tiny lighthouse on. So I'm going to make a scenery with a lighthouse. First I am taking a piece of heavier paper and I am shaping the lighthouse just the way I want it. Cutting it and shaping it. Then I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to tape it in place so that it is keeping the shape that I want. I looked up a few different lighthouses and found one that I liked. Now I am going to draw in uh, the lines where I want the colors to shift from white to red and from red to white. I thought I had hit the record button, but I didn't. So I have been doing this without recording. I just wrapped a piece of red clay around the cone and smooshed it together, cut out two uh, windows and the door. Here I'm showing how I make uh, a connection, like it's uh, pieces of metal that is connected here in the sides. And I'm doing this on two sides of this lower part. Then you can either go ahead and bake it when you have done this part before you start the next part or you can just start the next part. Here I'm going to show you how I rolled out a piece of clay, this time in white, and I'm using some Fimo gel, liquid gel, uh, and placing that on the cone. This way the clay will stay secure when I have placed it on there. Then I am going to take my clay and I'm going to place it around the cone making sure that it is close up to the red edge. I'm making sure that this clay is sitting nice and close to the paper cone and I'm smoothing out the connections so you won't see it at all. Then I take a sharp blade and I cut off the top edge of this white clay around the place where I made the mark for the next layer. And I'm going to make sure that again the clay sticks nice and firm to the paper so it has the right shape that I want it to. Then I am going to cut out a window on each side of this tower and on top of the other window that I made before. I'm not going to make a door in these levels, that was only in the bottom level. Then I am going to make the connection just as the first level. I'm making this line and then a few dots all the way down on each side of the line. And I'm doing this on each side of this uh, tower here. And I'm doing it on each layer and I'm not making these lines on the exact same uh, spot. Just here and there where I feel it would look really good. I'm making the rest of the layers the exact same way. So first uh, some Fimo gel around the cone, then cut it off, making the windows and making these connection lines um, down the sides of this part and then the next part and the last part.
I rolled out some black clay a little thicker than the red and the white one and I am cutting out a square, placing it in the window and just molding it into the shape of the window. And yes, I am putting a tiny bit of pick and bond in there to make sure that it will stay. Then I am going to make this edge around the window. Again, I used pick and bond to make sure this little strip of red clay will stick to the window when it's all done. And I'm going to surround the window all the way around like I show here. I'm going to do this on all my windows. So red on red and white on white. I cut out a strip of red clay and I actually put it around the tower like you see here. Um, and I used pick and bond to keep it in place. This was kind of fiddly so that's why I don't have it on video. Then I am placing this red band ribbon around the bottom of this one to keep it in place. And I bake it after I did this because it was easier to keep it in shape. And then I am going to make this top here, uh, just cap it off and I'm going to cut off the excess clay. And I'm going to smoothen out the connection between it and then I'm going to bake it again. I rolled out some red clay into a snake and cut it into these small pieces. I'm placing them here on the tower. First I'm placing four of them equal around the tower. And then I'm placing one more next to these. And I'm doing that on the same side of each of the first ones. Then I rolled out another piece of red clay and I'm using this tool that has this imprint on it to make a uh, texture on this piece of clay. Cutting off the edge to make sure it's nice and even and I'm cutting out this piece of uh, thickness string, what you want to call that. And I'm going to glue that around the top here as uh, a railing. And I'm making one more strip and I'm going to place that on top of uh, the lighthouse here at the very top so that it is going over the edge and making a railing up here also. Then I'm going to uh, make sure that it is sitting just like I want to before I bake it. Then I am going to make the top of the lighthouse, the roof. And for that I cut out this circle with my circle cutter. And I am going to make a railing around that again using this uh, tool for making some uh, details in the railing. Cutting off the edges so they are smooth and nice. And making sure that this can go all the way around the little top piece that I made. Then I made this triangle or cone top thing using the tool that I have again for making some imprint and I'm going to place this little thing in the middle of this roof uh, place thingy that I made here putting a little bacon bond in there to make sure it will stay. Then I have this UV version mold for some jars in 1 to 12 and I'm using the big one and I'm doing that with my translucent resin, placing the mold together and putting it under my UV light. So my lighthouse, the parts of uh, clay are all done. 
let's unmold this little resin jar thing. I'm not going to make the bottom of it, but I'm going to use this part of the jar. Uh, so I'm going to sand it so I just have the middle part of the jar. I'm gluing it onto the rooftop here, placing it on the middle, and I use some super glue gel. Then I'm taking another part of UV resin. This is just in a jar with a little brush, so I can brush it on where I want it. So I am putting the UV gel on the sides on the inside and on the sides on the outside. And then again I'm going to place it under the UV light. I am poking a hole in the middle of the top one of the lighthouse. I have this eye pin with a long pearl bead that I am going to glue in place in this hole so that it will sit upright uh, forever. I have this little round metal circle that I bend it a bit on the middle and I'm going to glue that onto the pearl as this big metal thing that is in the lighthouse. And now I'm just going to glue this UV um, jar on top. And there we have the Dunn Lighthouse. I hope you will follow me in the next video where I am showing you the rest of this little craft. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!